Hey, what's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here. Do you ever have those leftover mashed potatoes in the back of the refrigerator and you just do not know what to do with those things? Well, I have a fix for you today. Today, what we're gonna do for you is some mashed potato cakes, potato cakes, my mom called them potato cakes. Uh, what we do is we take some leftover mashed potatoes, put some eggs, some flour, miscellaneous things, whatever you like, stir it well, pat it out into a patty, and fry it. And we call that a side dish. So I'm gonna show you how I do potato cakes on the Blackstone griddle. All right, here's our ingredient lineup, folks. We have our leftover mashed potatoes. That's bacon grease, yummy. Salt, pepper, some chives for the end, a little bit of garlic powder, onion, cheddar cheese, all-purpose flour. And that's it. We got a little bit of, uh, we're gonna use a little clarified butter too. That's it, it's gonna go quickly guys, and let's get to it. All right, welcome back everybody. So we're gonna get started with our potato cakes. I wanna add our eggs first. It's the glorious thing about cooking outside. Eggshells are really good for your landscape. Stir those eggs up a little bit just to beat them up. All right. I'm not going to dump all the flour in here. This is a quarter cup of flour. I'm just going to start with a little bit, add more. Because depending on how you like your mashed potatoes, it is dependent on how much flour you use. Looks like we're going to need about the whole quarter cup. I'm going to go ahead and stir. That's probably about a quarter cup of onion. You don't have to use onion. I'm going to do a little bit of garlic powder. I'm going to put a little bit of these chives in the batter just for some presentation and also have about a quarter cup of cheese, cheddar cheese. That's a yummy batter right there. So we have this batter ready, and now I'm gonna put them on the Blackstone. We're gonna put a little bit of bacon grease down. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put, I forgot to put salt and pepper in here. So I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of salt, some cracked pepper. Stir that up nice. All right. Put some bacon grease over here. It's gonna give a nice good flavor. And my clarified butter is wanting to set up on me. A little bit of that too. All right. We're just gonna make these, they're not gonna be exact circles. We're just gonna Flatten them out. All right, nothing, nothing fancy here, guys. This is just good old country cooking. We have our black zone on about medium, high heat. You don't want to go crazy, blazing fury here. Just a Good little, good little heat. That's probably what I use majority of the time. Got room for one more. Go. Let's see where we're at with this. Woo, yeah. Well, those look pretty.
Purdy, purdy, purdy. These are looking really, really good. Just gonna cook these for a little bit longer. Let's get a little bit more color on these and we'll be done. Potato cakes. Well, these potato cakes are done, and now I'm ready to try these bad boys. They're very light, they're very pillowy. I'm ready to try them. Mm. <clears throat> Just like mama had. That onion gives that crispiness, crunchiness, which I like. You don't have to do onions if you don't want, um, but I highly recommend them. I also enjoy the cheddar cheese, which gives it a creaminess to it, and that really helps out a lot. And then the sour cream really brings everything through. I used to, as a kid, put ketchup on this as well. You could do it too. I think a little bit of hot sauce would be good. You can make it your own. Maybe a little cayenne pepper. Give it a little bit of punch. I don't like crazy heat personally, but mm. If you got mashed potatoes left over in your refrigerator way back in the back, you know, you're like, oh, dang. You want a quick side dish? Give us a try. I guarantee everyone will love them. So until next time, everybody, Hungry Hussy is out.